Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. I had the request in the previous game to see more Flash replays, and I this is in fact Flash, because this is a random player who is at the top of the ladder. Bottom right in corner is going up against Zealot, who's a fairly strong Zerg player. I'm trying to think if he's made it into the ASL, but he's definitely a he's he's a pro gamer, I'll put it that way. Uh Brown Zerg bottom right, this is on Polypoid. Flash this time playing his uh, namesake race, Terran upper left as the teal Terran. We'll see, uh, should be a good one. I will say, this is definitely Flash. He's playing random, he's really high up on the ladder. I'll try to grab what replays I can. Unfortunately, there are a lot of names where I just don't know who the players he's playing against are, and they might be good matchups. I mean, he might be playing against, uh, I don't know, he could be playing against Firebat Hero and just on an alt name, and I wouldn't know is part of the problem with that. So I'm trying to... So uh, this is the one I could at least recognize the player. So drop that... Drop that on, and I'll see if I can find replays of him playing Protoss or some other race against someone who's recognizable as well. Unless you guys don't mind, it's just being Flash against some random guy, at which point the cast will literally be Flash versus I don't know who this is, but he's also a good player. So let me know how you feel about that. Hopefully the audio balance is good out there as well. But I do uh, lament... <laughs> I'm wondering if Flash actually on these ladder games is in fact choosing random overall. This is interesting. So Flash dropping, you usually see the barracks on the interior to do a seal for the natural expansion. Now he's placing this barracks a little bit forward. Let's see if he's getting aggressive with some initial Marines. He's at cross position, so I don't know that he'll be able to execute anything off this. The big question on everyone's mind is with Flash coming out of retirement, if he's won, is he going to make another ASL attempt? And secondarily, is, has he dropped in form at all? Looks like we've seen 11 hatch spawning pool into extractor right about the 203 mark, which 202, 203, which suggests we're going to see pretty fast Mutalisk play. There has been, I feel like the meta has really shifted for Zerg overall more towards Hydralisk, well, a pseudo Hydralisk, but mostly Hydralisk based late game army with Dark Swarm and Plague. Seen that quite a bit at these upper levels recently. Uh, looks like a single marine is being produced, and we're seeing that blockade, but yeah, usually it's on this side. Maybe it's because the marine pops out down here. Uh, but this, yeah, creates a problem. So yeah, floating it up, redropping it, getting that first marine out, and it looks like it's just going to be barracks into command center. After that, at cross spawn, should be easy to defend. Zealot sending a drone cross spawn himself to get some scouting information as an overlord has discovered nothing. Bottom left. And careening up the right hand side, didn't see an SCV making his way across. SCV has made it into his base to spot the layer timing precisely. Still no Zerglings produced at all. Drone finds the front door, sees just the single Marine, and this is going to be... With this barracks placement, it's kind of interesting because the Marines are going to spawn out here, and I'm wondering if Zelt's going to try to take advantage of this and move some Marines, or, or move some Zerglings up to that location to try to pick off Marines as they're produced. Because that's very doable. You can see Flash in a very defensive stance around that barracks. Kind of interesting. Anyway, we do have a gas up with three SCV on in the background, and this might turn into some mech overall, because I don't see any additional barracks, and I'm thinking this is going to be a factory. Kind of waiting for it. There it is. So we're going to see four Marines actually moving out. Look at this. So Flash getting aggressive with the initial four marines as that layer's finished. Spire has dropped. That SCV stayed alive the entire time. Sunken Colony is morphing, so I don't think these three marines are going to be able to push through anything. And I don't think they're going to catch an Overlord overall. They do see that second gasp, which suggests Zealot is going for maybe a, a heavier investment into Mutalist play in the mid game. Drone moving out to maybe cap a third. I assume top right. We'll have to see. But these four Marines still remaining very active. We got a factory and an academy to follow this up. I don't think I've ever seen this like four Marine split off before Spire's finish. Maybe at cross position, maybe it would have been something on a smaller map, but not at cross positions. Maybe they're just overlord hunting out there. No sudden gas as well. So I'm curious if this is going to be, if, so this is turning into a 1 1 1. Overall from Flash, dropping the armory as well. Usually when you see a big mech switch, you see that second gas being grabbed just because the mech is so gas intensive. But instead, it looks like this is going to be some sort of 
I, I think I saw JYJ do some sort of riff on this, where it was kind of a marine mech hybrid army. Second barracks in the main. So basically you get some siege tanks, you get some other interesting mech units out and play from there. Third base being constructed, the Mutalisks going to be out fairly rapidly. This is very fast Mutalisks overall. And will my question is, is will there be enough anti-air? Starport, control tower, armory up, stim being upgraded, third barracks just being dropped. This is not a lot. So maybe you need some overbuild of turrets in between. The other thing that's been happening with Mutalisks overall is... Zerg have kind of given up on some of that economic harassment they typically go for, and oftentimes they've been playing with the Mutals just purely defensively, and I'm wondering if this is also intended to try to punish that style of play. Turret just now getting constructed. I think the Mutals are going to get there before this turret finishes. And that's going to be big problems, because we've got two turrets there at the natural. Yeah. Commentator sense on it. Flash being late by half a second. Marines pushed up. I tell you what, though, if that was just a... If Zealot was a little bit more on the spot and had a little bit more control right there, that might have been an incomplete turret. Valkyrie out to provide some in-between support, which I did not see that coming. So a Valkyrie to try to cover the gap in between. That's certainly... And now more Valkyries under construction. Interesting. I love seeing this. Mules trying to do what they can, but they've got to be very, very careful because bunched like this... A single missile does six across the bunch, which the more Mutalisks, the more punishing it ends up being. Third base is up, third gas being constructed. Zealot going for plus one armor overall, but even with the plus one armor, once that Valkyrie count hits three without some Scourge to support and wipe it out, look at this. Good, The Marines have filled in in between, so the Valkyrie count going to get built fairly quickly. Range also upgrading. We do have some Scourge here in the background, but not joining this attack on the front. And you can see, it looks like the Scourge... Actually, I, I think I missed some Scourge landing and taking one Valkyrie out. Valkyrie going for the hunt. Able to get through again. Great movement there by Zealot. Look at that. Waiting for Flash to have the attack move bait. And masking the rest of the Scourge and able to take two Valkyrie out. Otherwise, this would be a completely different game. If this Medic Marine army was moving out and still had two Valkyries overhead, I would have been a little bit concerned from Zealot overall. It looks like he's got some Scourge looking to go ahead and pick off what's remaining. More Stim being expended. Zealot moving to the north, finding a Marine right there. Still uh, having some control, eating a lot of free damage from the Medic Marines on the low ground. Some more Scourge trying to... There, <laughs> little game of tag here. Unfortunately, Flash not winning it overall <clears throat> because you can see... His Marines just getting shredded underneath all of that. And that third gas is still up and running. Hive tech, <coughs> excuse me, just finishing for Zealot. So Zealot not in a terrible position here. Only And that with just a single sunken colony on defense. So it hasn't really been able to slow down Flash's economy. But at the same time, Flash is still sitting. It looks like he's still trying to do this Valkyrie style build. And I'm wondering if he's just treating this as kind of a practice round overall. Doesn't have a massive amount of map control. Still has the two Valkyries out. I'm wondering if this is also what's caused player greater spire morphing. Are you kidding me? After seeing the Valkyries? All right, so we got two Valkyries still. We've got Mutalisks that are waiting to maybe turn into Guardians or something else. Which I don't like that play at all. Against... Especially against the, uh, the Valkyrie Force, which has now hit three. That critical number that... And they just... Yeah, oof really melting through that Mutalist force. Pushing away. I think it's once that you're at three, the Scourge with the with sufficient micro have trouble, but Flash biffing that micro a little bit, losing them, but this entire Mutalist force is extremely weak. Some Hydro now grouping up at the Mineral only, but I don't see any Lurker tech to support, nor do I see Defilers here. So this might be a winning situation for Flash. Although, how are upgrades? He's had to at least, with all of the, the mech investment, it looks like the, the upgrades for Terran have suffered is the other end of this. So these Hydrals is actually not the worst here. So we have some Guardians now morphing over that mineral only, defensively, to provide some time. I assume to provide some time, and this isn't just going to be a, a Hydra Guardian army. That would be incredible. Hydrals also morphing to 3 o'clock. So I'm wondering if this style of play is actually what shifted a lot of the movement. 
Flash able to get into that three o'clock. The drone's exiting immediately. Hydra is then exposed as well as an Overlord. So both of that might get wiped out. Guardian starting to move in. Although I do worry about their efficacy here. And with that, Flash able to wipe out Zealot's third gas. Guardian sweeping all the way around, picking off a few reinforcements, now moving up. We have a, a Devourer to engage the Valkyrie behind this. And it looks like, yeah, that Mar just with the cliffside engagement location, Mar Flash's army getting obliterated. And the Valkyrie is going to flee. Acid Spore in face, in hands. I'm not sure what I want to say there. Mutal's trying to do what they can. This still isn't a winning fight for Mutalus overall, although Devourer... This is one of the more entertaining fights, is Devourer versus Valkyrie, although the Valkyrie is now going to lose with those Hydralisks underneath. Just seven health left. So Zealot survives, has lost his third gas, needs to retake that as soon as possible, is gra is now grabbing the six o'clock. It looks as a replacement base, has redropped the Hydral Sten. Still hasn't made... He's got Hive Tech, keep in mind. He still hasn't made his way towards the Defilers overall. We've got a Siege Tank out. And so we're seeing Guardian Hydra, Guardian Hydra versus Marine Siege Tank Valkyrie. And Flash is still on two bases. Now the Medic Marines in open field, now that they got plus one weapons, trade very, very well against the Hydralisks. Not so well against the Guardians overall. So now it's the bait game to try to draw that Valkyrie out, pick the Valkyrie out of the sky rapidly in time to keep the Guardians alive and also keep the Marines off the Guardians so they can peel through. And it looks like they Zealot getting the better engagement there against Flash overall. So I'm not sure if I want to call this a weakness of Flash's build, but Zealot looking strong here and getting Siege Tanks on the high ground and more Hydralisks reinforcing. This is cutting edge meta, or it's just meme meta. Also possibly meme meta. Flash, natural expansion has been lifted off. Hydra is chasing the SCVs in. Lurker is morphing the natural expansion, and Zealot might have done it. Zealot might have taken a game off the Great One on the ladder. Finally, a Wraith being constructed. No Overlord nearby, so these Guardians will get taken out steadily. However, Flash is still separated from his... Is still a, is separated from his natural expansion. There, oh, there's an Overlord nearby, and the Hydra is able to provide some support too. And here's the thing, once there's a single shot from these Devourers, that'll be that. And these Lurkers on the low ground against Marines in this position, I'm actually surprised that Flash hasn't GG'd, maybe defiantly trying to stay in this match. As far as a follow-up, a statement, I will not lose to Zealot. The Overlords, did the Overlord get picked off? Okay, no. And that's the other problem, is if you have one Uncloaked Wraith, the uh, Devourer, uh, Corrosive Acid will actually splash and, and decloak both Wraith. Which is actually very, very good against Wraith overall. Um, even if you manage to take out that Overlord. But anyway, Lurker's on the low ground. Siege Tank's still up in there. Zealot has managed to reestablish his third gas. He's still left this gas just bleeding there. Although it's slowly going to regenerate because that's what Zerg does. The Guardians have mostly gotten wiped out. There's a few Marines left. And Lurker's still on the high ground. There's one Siege Tank keeping the Lurkers back otherwise. And that Command Center continuing to get picked away against. Reinforcing Hydralisks making their way up. Flash currently at half the supply, just thereabouts, of Zealot. But still trying to stick in this. And both players trying to play at this weird edge where it's the siege tanks deal with the Hydralisks, which allow the Wraith to attack the Guardians, and the Guardians can, can range the siege... Anyway, it makes for an interesting battle overall. The command center is now sunk. Wraith gone. Only one... Guardian left, but Flash <laughs> gonna make the emoji face and GG. What a crazy game. That was a fun one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't know if anyone else is gonna cover that one on the internet. Thank you guys for listening. Appreciate all of it. If there's other players you want to see, uh, or other games you would like, or a particular matchup or anything like that, please comment and I'll try to make that happen. In the meantime, thank you for listening.